no that was totally way. a different color. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Stoffer Garage. Today's detail, it's a disaster. And it's also a subscriber's vehicle, which is not only super cool, but we have the reaction at the very end. We're gonna have to rip out the entire interior. We got tons of extraction to do. We're gonna be busting out the steam cleaner. Everything is gonna have to be needed for this one. Without further ado, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you haven't already. Thumbs up, let's go pick it up, let's get started. So the first thing for me is always getting my workbench set up, getting all my products, all my tools pulled out. And if you guys are interested in what I use in my videos, I have them all linked in the description box below if you're interested. Once I get the car ready to detail, it's rip out everything. That is usually the first step that I like to do because then that way if there's any dirt that falls off the seats or the center console or anywhere, it falls on the floor that hasn't been vacuumed or touched yet and then move on to the vacuuming stage. I honestly think that this car is on the top two dirtiest cars that I've ever detailed. Like once you got the seats out, it really showed how bad it was. So obviously the next thing to do is pull out the center console so that way you can work on it on your workbench. It just makes it that much easier to kind of go ahead and strip out the entire car. So in the last couple videos, I've been giving away a set of Fox Clean detailing brushes. This video is no different, so I want you guys to guess how much change I found in the car in the comments below. So once I pulled out the rear seats, it was a bit startling how much stuff was underneath there. But not only that, it brought back terrifying memories of the Fiero project because I found a mouse nest and mouse turd. So if you guys wanna know what happened with the Fiero project, head on over to my Instagram, follow me on there. I'm gonna post up a video of where the Fiero project stands. And also for my Instagram followers, in the next two days, I'm gonna be giving away a hundred bucks to five people. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you don't already at Stoffer Garage. Go ahead and check it out and then you'll be also be able to see what happened to Project Fiero. probably said this in every single one of my videos, but for me, vacuuming is like the creme de la creme of transformations because it gets you like 80% there on some of these details like this one, because it is so nasty and so dirty that just by vacuuming, you make a huge difference in how the car appears. Now you guys can tell here on the driver's side floor, 
there is these two rips in the carpet. There's actually about four rips. There is rust underneath and there's probably rust underneath several other parts of the vehicle. And that's why you'll see some of these stains don't come out as easily and won't, probably won't come out at all. And on the driver and passenger side was a lot of liquid mud and water. So that makes me think that there's probably some leaks around either the doors or the gaskets or around the windshield top that's draining onto these floors. So I told the owner about it so he can make sure he checks it out. But this carpet, is saved a little bit, but at the end of the day, even after doing three or four passes with the extractor, which you guys will see later on, it's not absolutely perfect. It is definitely 10 times better than what it was. But at this point, this is one of those things that you think about just replacing the carpet as a whole instead of taking the time to do an extraction because it's kind of diminishing returns, if you know what I mean. All right, so now that the car is completely vacuumed out, it's time to pull out my sprayer. I'm mixing in hot water with Chemical Guys Fabric Clean. It smells honestly like lemon Pez. It's, it's really nice. So that way you have a little bit of a scent to it. It makes it smell a little better in the car, especially as it's drying. And it does a really good job of getting out pretty much any stain I've encountered. So I'm mixing it up in my sprayer. I kind of just eyeball it, but it's kind of like a 10 to one ratio is kind of what I go for. And then I'm gonna be saturating the entire carpet in sections. So that way I can work in little areas now for the drill brush, I have two different brushes that I use. I have a four inch that is soft and a four inch medium bristle strength. And the medium one is typically what I use for my floor carpets just because it is a stronger bristle that helps get a lot more of that dirt agitated and off the surface. Now, if the seats on a car or the carpet is somewhat more brittle and, and more delicate, that's when I would start with the soft one. But usually the medium one is like my go-to right off the bat. Now in my extractor, people always ask what I use. I honestly just use pure hot water because at this stage after you you've used a drill brush and saturated with your sprayer, you're trying to get all of that soap and that solution and all that dirt out of the carpet as possible. So just using pure hot water is the best strategy that I have found. So you can see from this shot that after two passes, the carpet is actually gray, which ironically, um, you wouldn't have thought that from the very beginning. So after two passes, you can still see some of these orange spots. That is rust that's probably underneath the carpet there, but those stains are probably not gonna come out even with more subsequent passes. Now with this first extractor pour, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a nitro cream cold brew, especially with the amount of foam that was created on the end of the pour. 
Now at the start of this extraction phase on this side by side, you can see how brown it was on the left compared to the right. And on the right, you can see how gray it is before I even got started. But as I start cleaning this guys, it's truly insane with how dirty these carpets were and the actual side by side comparison this shot gives you. Now when I got to the driver's side footwell, I honestly did about four passes. I don't know if it showed it here in the camera, but I probably even turned it off at some point because the driver's side floor from the original shots, you can see how wet it was and how muddy it was. So it was really difficult to get all of that out, especially with the fact that there was a hole and everything was underneath it. So you're kind of lifting dirt and mud from underneath the carpet as well. It just, it, it really was um, probably the hardest area of this vehicle in particular, even though it wasn't perfect at the end, it was still quite a bit different than from where we started. One thing I want to mention too guys is for Fox Clean, which is my personal detailing company, I am selling detailing brushes and lily brushes at this point if you guys are interested in checking those out. I am running into a slight issue on the detailing brush side because of the coronavirus going on in China. It has caused a delay in shipment of my product. So as of right now, you guys have been killing it with all the orders and supporting this channel and I am about to run out of inventory. So if you're looking to pick up a set, now is the time to do so before I run out. And then in the next month or two, I should be able to get all of the supplies back before spring of this year. But I also have several new products that I'll be carrying just in time for spring cleaning. So that way you guys can get your car looking awesome.
My extractor definitely got a workout with this car and I think that overall the carpets did turn out pretty nice. They weren't perfect by the end of it, but after doing two, three passes on each section, honestly, you kind of get to a point where you realize that there is such deep staining that one, you can either replace the carpet or two, they do have carpet dyes or spray paints that you can use that you can pick up at a store where if you didn't want to replace them, that would be a good option for this car. One comment that I received from a subscriber in the last video is they recommended using shop air for kind of blowing out the vents and blowing out the door panels and the different seams before you actually do any detailing. So for this one, I pulled out my shop air, sprayed out the speaker grill, sprayed out a lot of the edges. So that way when I'm using my detailing brushes, it's in less dirt that you actually have to scoop out and wipe away with your microfiber towels. Now for these carpet inserts on the door panels, I used Folex, which is a nice instant spot remover. I chose this because any of these door panel skins that you see are just glued on fabric. So if you use too much fluid or use your extractor and drill brush, you run into an issue with possibly lifting and ripping it off of the surface and just using my detailing brush to agitate and kind of work the fluid into the fabric before I wipe it away with a microfiber towel.
Because this car has textured door panels and textured plastic, sometimes the soft bristle brush isn't able to get like the 10 plus years of caked on dirt out as easily. So I have a harder bristle brush that on those areas that I know won't scratch or that aren't as delicate as some other surfaces, I have a harder bristle brush that helps me get a lot of those areas cleaned. Now for the center console, I chose to use the steam cleaner because you have these edges and these creases that get these dirt caked into them where the brush can get them, but it's a lot easier just to use the steam to blow it out and also sanitize those areas that you kind of contact a lot more when you're inside a vehicle with your armrest or the shifter area. One of the strong suits of a steam cleaner is if you have like crayons or slime or anything that's caked into carpet that's like dried and solidified. It does a really good job with kind of melting those different compounds. And then you can use your microfiber towel typically to wipe them up. So for this shifter, there was actually crayon that was kind of caked into the surface that I was able to remove just with a steam cleaner. Now for the seats themselves, I'm just using the same process that I use in the carpets on the inside. I have my sprayer spraying on my Chemical Guys Fabric Clean Solution, and then I'm using my medium bristle drill brush because these seats aren't super delicate that I have to use a soft bristle one. And then I'm gonna be using my extractor with just pure hot water. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below if there's any specific videos that you would like me to make, whether it's on fixing torn fabric seats or ripped leather or cracked leather, or if there's like cleaning the headlights or fixing curb rash. If there's anything specific that you guys want me to do on a dedicated type video, let me know in the comments below so that, that way I can make those videos happen.
So now that the seats are cleaned, it is time to reinstall everything inside the vehicle and get it ready for the owner to see the end result. Luckily, the owner let me keep the car overnight so that way I could circulate air throughout the vehicle with my blower fan to try to dry it out as much as possible despite it being winter time. All right guys, heading to go meet the owners right now to drop off the car and meet them. I think they're gonna be blown away with the results. This thing turned out actually a lot better than I thought it would. I was really concerned with the carpets, obviously on the driver's side with the holes and things like that. And then some of the stains are caused by the rusting. I think there was some water leaks and things like that that are causing some issues with the carpet. Things like that won't be able to come out obviously, but everything else came out beautifully. If they did the carpets and replace those, maybe replace the shift boot, I think this car would look like brand new again. before you see the owner's reaction after these before and after shots, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. You guys are awesome. I love reading all of your comments. So if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe and let's go ahead and see what the owner thinks of the vehicle. Oh, dude. Wow. No that was totally way. a different color. Isn't it crazy? Dude, that is awesome, bro. It looks like... It was funny. When I took out this seat, the actual bracket in the back was like this charcoal gray so yeah. I could see what the real color was wow. but this was brown I thought yeah. I know right <laughs> it's like the color popped so much more. it turned out really nice it came out really well awesome, you're welcome it. you're welcome man what this doesn't even look like the same car it was like so gross when we bought it but thank you guys so much thank you thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. no problem thanks man